Hi everyone! Welcome to my bathroom. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Be Hairful brush that I just got for Christmas. Um, and normally I would style right after I get out of the shower, but because I'm filming, clothes needed to be put on. <laughs> so I plopped my hair. So I'm going to take my pop out of my hair. I have already put in my leave-in conditioner which is the kinky curly knot today. So I put that in before I put my plop in. So now um, I'm going to unplop and I'm going to water down my hair since normally my hair would be pretty, pretty uh, wet um, and, you know, not having dried at all. So I'm going to deplop and I'm going to spray down my hair. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Camogrille Rose, um, Camille Rose Ella Whipped Butter Gel. This is actually a cream for me, um, because as you can see, this is how I travel with it. Um, it's, it's definitely a cream, and I only need a little bitty bit, okay? It is a protein-free cream. Everything I use on my hair today is protein and glycerin-free. I live in upstate New York, and we're very dry for the winter right now. So I just rake this through. I need a little bit more water. Okay. Okay, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is, it's be careful brush time. Now, if you have a Denman brush, you can use this same technique with your Denman brush, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detangle first. So I'm gonna brush my hair out and then I'm gonna go in and style. And I always do this before I apply my gel and my mousse. And when I get up to the top of my head here, I'm going out away from my scalp so I don't get any weird, my hair doesn't lay weird on the back of my head. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and style. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clump and I'm going to stick it into the brush like this stick my finger right here, turn the brush, and come down. And as you can see, it made it clump really, really nicely. And now I'm gonna do that on the rest of my head. And I'm gonna do it up here as well. But here, as you can see, I'm going in a different direction. All right, so now I'm gonna do that all over and I'll come back before I scrunch. So as you can see, my hair is very clumped. I do like volume. I like a good balance between definition and volume. So I style my hair this way so I can get volume and some definition. So now I'm going in, as you can see, I do apply four products by the end of this but I only apply a little bit of each one. I like the benefits of all the products that I use. I have very coarse hair, so the moisture from the leave-in conditioner and the cream is very important for my hair. And then I do like the mousse. I'm using the Curl Talk mousse. I love this mousse. And I am going in with just a little bit, okay? Start out with a little bit and work your way up. If you need more, you can always add more. And what I'm doing with this is praying hands. Okay. 
And at this point, I'm not really putting a lot on my scalp because I want that volume. The mousse is definitely one of the things that if I'm going to put something on my scalp, it would be the mousse. And now I'm scrunching. And at the end of this, you will see I scrunch a lot. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to add in some gel. And the gel that I use is the Eco Slate Orange Marmalade. It's in my travel bottle right now. And I'm going to start out with that much. Okay. And we're just going to glaze. Maybe a little bit of praying hands at this point. Okay. And scrunch. All right, so now I'm also going to take a little bit more gel, okay, just a little bit, and I'm going to flip my head right side up, you guys see, okay, and I'm going to glaze over the back to make sure I get product on that part too, okay, then I'm going to flip back over. And it's scrunching time. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right. So I'm going to finish scrunching and then I'll come back to show you what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. So I do like to micro plop after I'm done putting in my styling products. Micro plopping is where you take your t shirt towel or your microfiber towel or your curl friendly towel, whatever that may be, and you scrunch just like we did. Now you notice when I was styling that when I scrunch, I come up from the bottom, okay, and my hand is like this, and I come up to the top, I squeeze, I release, and I come back down. So that's how you wanna scrunch your hair, okay? And I do the same thing with this towel as I would if I was just scrunching in my product with just my hands. Okay. So just, just like this. So I'm gonna take the excess water out. All right. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. Okay, so now what I like to do is plop for 10 minutes, 10 minutes at the most, okay? Then I'm going to come back um, after I'm done with that and show you what my hair looks like after it comes out of the plop. And then I usually let it air dry for about 45 minutes and then I'll diffuse. So you're gonna see the whole process. So stay tuned. Okay, hey everyone. So this is my hair right after I took it out of the plop and I'm gonna let it air dry for about 45 minutes going to do a tiny bit of makeup because I do teach clarinet lessons today and yeah I will come back and show you how I diffuse. Hey hi everyone so it's been roughly 30 to 45 minutes I don't know I kind of lost track of time um so I'm gonna diffuse my hair now as you can see I did clip my bangs up just to keep them out of the way um while I was doing my makeup and um, I also did some tidying up around the house. So now um, I'm going to diffuse. My hair has started to cast up, so that's how I know I'm ready to go. So let me set you guys down here. So I'm gonna take my clip out. I'm just gonna drop it in there. And I have the Extava hair dryer and diffuser, and um, I'm gonna go on um, high heat, I'm going to switch to low heat in the middle. But before I turn this on, because you're not going to be able to hear anything, um, I do diffuse uh, with my head upside down, and I do the hovering uh, diffusing method. And so while I'm hovering, I do have it on high heat, high speed, 
and I know the curly police are going to come from me, but you know what? My hair is not damaged because of it. Because I'm hovering, I'm far enough away that it's not doing anything. Then when I do start putting the diffuser like on my hair, I turn the heat down to low and low speed. Okay, because I only have a high, low, and off setting for the heat on the um, hair dryer. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's get to it. Okay, now that my um, hair has casted up pretty well, it's been maybe five minutes um, of hovering. What I'm going to start doing now is is really getting the diffuser in there on my roots. So my goal is to dry my roots first and work my way down to decrease the amount of frizz that's in the lengths of my hair. So here we go. I am gonna turn the heat down and I'm gonna go on high speed. High speed, low heat. Okay, now that my roots are dry, what I'm gonna start doing is actually scrunching my hair now. So I'm still on low heat. Um, I'm still on high speed because I don't mind a little bit of good frizz for volume. Um, I just don't like a lot. So I find that, um, especially since I sealed the whole style with an oil at the end, High speed is okay for me, so don't come for me, okay? I know, I know, it's not curly girl approved. I know that. Okay, so I'm gonna start scrunching up from the bottom this time. Also, I would like to point out that my hair is thick, and if I, it would take me forever if I used Low speed, trust me. All right, everyone. I am back with the results. My hair is 100% dry. And uh, there's a slight crunch. I haven't scrunched it out yet. So we're going to do that. Let me grab my oil. Um, the one that I use is from Healing Sense. It's the Intensive Hair Treatment. I love it. It's got sunflower, olive, and avocado oils in it with rosemary, geranium, and lavender essential oils. And I love it for sealing in the moisture. Just a couple of drops. <laughs> This is what we're working with. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and we'll see you next time. Bye.